Hello everybody, welcome to another review here. Now today we'll be taking a look at the F-Secure Technology Preview, which is kind of like beta. So let's take a look at their interface. It's still the same as 2012, so 2013 will probably have the same interface. Let me just show you that it's up to date and let's check out their features. It's all the same from last version. Of course, uh, they did mention that they have improved their deep guard and web filtering. So we'll see how that happens and how it, the blocking goes on with the review. Now, deep guard is basically a cloud-based behavior blocking service and web blocking, of course, f has always had that. So as you can see, update is successful. So let's just get to the test here. I've got 12 malicious links that are all pieces infected with malware. And we'll see how F-Secure prevents us from being infected by these URLs here. Now the first one was blocked by F-Secure as a harmful web website. So let me just go back to my home page. So let's try the next one here. So this one was able to get through the F-Secure web page blocker, but we'll see if their antivirus blocks it. Save it on my desktop and we'll see if we can run it. So far I haven't got any alert. Okay, here we go. S Secure has removed this. There you go, Firesa has been removed, but it wants me to restart. I'm not going to restart until I complete this test. So let's try out the next one here, and this was blocked again by F-Secure's web page blocker. So let's try the next one here that we've got. I think we haven't tried out this one. So let's try this one out first. Okay, so that one's probably dead. Because I can't open it. Now I am experiencing some system slowdown due to the F-Secure beta, but then again, this is a beta application, so you can't complain. This one was blocked again by their web blocking service. Even Notepad is kind of like hanging up here. So let's try out the next one. Last one was also blocked by their web blocking. So it does look like they have worked on their web blocking feature. It's blocking more websites now. I guess I hit the wrong button there, so we'll just open it again. Oh, this was blocked. That's strange, it didn't appear to be blocked last time. Anyway, let's try the next one here. OK, 
Okay, so this one's dead. This one, we can run it. See if it's detected by a secure. Okay, it's detected and removed. That's good. So let's try out the next one. These are all pretty low detection rate links, so it's really good to see that F-Secure is blocking them. So, we're left with the last two links here. So, this one could get past uh, their web blocker. So let's see now if they block the file or if it's let through. This is a PDF. No, it's uh, actually it's not given any file type. So I'll just uh, rename it to executable and we'll try run it. Now let's see if F-Secure gets in the way of this. As you can see, the system's slowing down quite a lot due to F-Secure. So they certainly have to improve their memory usage in their full version. The application is responsive, but the system is slowing down. And there you go, another malware has been removed. So it looks like, okay, another one. So this one wants to install Adobe Flash Player. Okay, so this is probably some malicious website or if it's just a data link. So anyway, we've tried our links and it doesn't appear that the system has been infected. So it looks like F-Secure did a pretty decent job. So right now let's uh, move ahead to the file test here. Let me just open their security interface and disable the real-time scanning so that we can grab the files. There we go. Uh, we've disabled it. Now we'll just grab some pieces of malware from here, from my host machine that is, and we'll see. We'll just do a right-click scan. Whoops, uh, that was Komodo from my host machine. I'll just disable it for a moment. And I'll be right back uh, and now I guess it's pretty fast. So we've got a total of 400 items and all of these are pieces of malware. So we'll just do a right click scan with a secure and we'll see if it removes, we'll see how many threats it removes. So I guess I'll be back when scan is done. Okay, so scan's done, and now it wants me to select if I'm going to clean them automatically or item by item. I think I'll just select item by item here. And I guess I'll just uh, delete all of these because I don't want save anything. So it's found a lot of stuff here. So I guess I'll just select all of these and hit delete. Well, the scan was pretty fast. It just took uh, less than a minute to scan the entire folder. But now let's see how long it takes to remove these. Okay, so now it's uh, selected to delete. Now I have to hit next. And now it's going to apply the actions and it appears that it might be pretty slow. So I guess I'll be back when this is done. Everything's removed as you can see. And three things. Okay, we've got three pieces of adware that we're going to delete of course. 
Now this should be quick. F-Secure has completed removing whatever it's found, so we're left with 40 items. So let's find what kind of detection rate we're getting with this. Uh, now we had 400 items here at the start. Now we're left with 40, so that's kind of pretty clear. Whoops, uh, hit the wrong button. So that gives us a detection rate of just 90%. So it's an amazing detection rate. I have to say for files like these, they're just a couple of days old. So F-Secure signatures are really uh, excellent. I have to say that. Uh, so let's uh, get back and enable the real time and see what kind of defense they have against files that uh, they are not present in their signatures. So I'll turn back the real time. Okay, so let's run some of these and see what happens. <laughs> this one has fake bit defender sign here. That one appeared not to be able to run because of something missing. Now we won't be able to run a lot of these applications and the reason for that would be that a lot of their friends whom they required to run have been removed by F-Secure. But I guess uh, we can run a few. So I guess I'll wait for these to run and see if F-Secure comes up with any alert. Probably we won't be able to run many of these because uh, a lot of the files have been removed and many of them are dependent on other files for running. So we're not going to be able to run quite a lot of files. There you go. Can't run that. So I guess uh, I'll just run CCleaner, reboot first, and then run CCleaner, and of course then I'll just uh, do a scan with Malwarebytes and show you guys the results. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning, it didn't find anything. And I also ran a scan with Hitman Pro and it didn't find anything either. So it looks like uh, the new F-Secure is going to be pretty amazing whenever it comes out. It did succeed in protecting this computer, it caught all the threats and removed them. It did pretty good in the prevention test, uh, no leaks, and it got a fantastic uh, detection ratio. So it looks like their new application is doing very well. In fact, their signatures have always been pretty good. I don't think this application still has any great uh, CRD protection ability, but uh, so far their signatures are doing the job for them. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's really glad to see F-Secure doing so well. So have a nice day and talk to you guys later.